Mm. So now this is where we, yeah, this is where we find out basically like what do we need to okay. take on the Ripper so Wofford has told us a bit of some of some of the stuff and Soap has done a bit as well yeah. so we're getting the, like, the, the final part from this guy as well right okay so if you want to click all through these through there's going to be like nothing but bad tech and babble but the Ripper will be able to fool any standard sensor program you need something special uh, there's a woman who calls herself Isis in the net she authored a sensor program I know where you can make a copy of it all you gotta do is make it through her eyes her address is Cybar. Sidebar. Sidebar, okay. So, now we're going to go through. You're in luck. I can help you with that. I want to find the source code of Blowtech Shrinker. I built another 30% compression out of it. Get ready, I'll download the program to your deck. Oh. There you go, so we already have one piece of what we need. Hey, thanks, dude. Where can I get an antiviral utility? Uh, let me surf the boards and see what I can do. Check back with me later. Well, see, he's a nice chap. <laughs> I like him. Hi. Right. Good old Kane. Right. So we've got a compression Where's thingy. So we go in here. Yeah. And sidebar. Sidebar, yes. Sidebar. I think it's supposed to be sidebar. Okay, sidebar. Like that? Uh, yeah, try it. No? No. Oh. I'm a retard. No, I'd say the spelling could be a bit weird. It's, um, oh, it's, uh, sorry, Cy Barrett. So it's P, it says, it's, it's the one like as in Cy, Psychic. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, you can't really, that, that was a, that was annoying. Annoying because you couldn't quite hear the guy when he was talking. Yeah. It was like very, a lot of like muffled audio, so. This game is shite! But oh hey, yeah, I love it. I mean, at least Crayon Man is here. I feel so much better now. <laughs> what is the name of my master's brother's son? It's a puzzle. Oh. The name of my master's brother's son. So if you know your Egyptian mythology, you're in luck with this one. <laughs> but if not, let's solve a puzzle. The sum, the vulture, is the end. To sum, the For vulture you, is. May be the beginning. All right. <laughs> now, I'll help you out by saying that obviously this is a message. Yes. Okay. But I want you to count the like how many symbols are around there, and maybe that might help. How many different ones? How are many? Yeah. Have? How many symbols are around on the border there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Good God! Yeah, I miscounted. I don't want to start again. How many is there? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oy. So we have an alphabet. So you got your first clue. There was the vulture. For many, for many, the vulture is the end. But for you, it may be the beginning. So it's reverse order alphabet. Potentially. Or, as I said, when you find the vulture then, that could be A, and then the rest of the letters fall into place then. And once okay. you then, you can figure out then what that message is saying on the board. So, if you find the vulture... Which one of these birds? That looks like a penguin, but it's probably a vulture. Right, so what you've done there is click in what would be the answer to this riddle. Oh. So this is a riddle here, so once you find out what it is... Uh, you can then put the answer down below. You can just escape. It's there. There you go. Sorry, I clicked that about. It's okay. Just uh, click back, in, back, in, back into it. You know what to do now. <sighs> no. Okay. I hate these puzzles. Yeah. For some, the forager is the end. The forager is all I heard. For you, yeah. it may be the beginning. It's a guy's accent. It's really like it's supposed to be a vulture anyway. Now I think, now I think, um, yeah, you've done the same thing there. I think you just click on any like symbols there and that knocks that out. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just click. Okay, just click. Just four symbols. There you go. Okay, so. There is one thing, that one last thing to do then in regards to this kind of alphabet that we have here. 
You notice any re um, repeating symbols? So I suppose... Mm, no. <laughs> the corners. So the corners are not part of the yeah. alphabet. So if you see then, when you take out... It's supposed to be 30... I, th I believe if you count again, it should be 30 in total. Yeah. And then when you take out those four then, it's... Oh yeah, no, I, I didn't count them anyway when I was... Oh, that's, right. that's grand then, yeah. yeah. Alright, so... Now, the, so if you find a vulture, then I presume that's a vulture. Yeah. So then, go around and then say so what your A alpha. B C D E E F. So E presumably for Ripper, no? no? Well, E. Well, let's just say that symbol is E then. E. Okay. All right. See, that's the same down here. Yeah. Is that the same? And then this, these two, the same. Hmm. That's true, actually. They are the same, aren't they? They look the same, unless there's like a, cup, a slight difference. Uh, oh, yeah. There are a few about repeating ones, aren't they? But some of them have like very subtle differences between them, so... Right. Okay, so... Trying to figure out like a word pattern. Mm. Or there's something, something, like... What could that be? If we think that's E, that can't be E because usually. Um... Well, I think the the knife or the, the little knife looking thing up there is E, because you're saying like A B C D and E. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have something there that says that has two E's in it. Okay. So over this little the the first um, letter there. Let's see what this if there's a symbol to go with that down below here, right? So that would be Z, uh, Y, X, W, V, U, S. Okay. So S. So it'd be S something E something something E something. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. So we've got uh, A B C D E F G S G. Nah. No, nah, that doesn't work then. Um. I mean, did you? Did you Call it again. So it'd be A B C D E F G H. Oh. Uh, you, you just so it's S H E, and then follow again. The line is the line is down the right, so that should be I J K L. So we have shell. Shell. And the semicircle is the one beside S. So that's T. And look, the the full shelter. Shelter. Okay, so we got shelter. Okay, shelter. All right, that's a start. <sighs> B C D E F G H I J K L M N N or M? <laughs> Do, yeah. A B C D E F G H I J K L M M, right? And then the letter below it then seems to be the next two letters. So it must be N O O. If that's the case then, because M N N would yes. make sense. N O O. And then we already we already know the symbol that's next, which is S, and we already know the knife one, so it's noose. Noose. Shelter noose. Yep. Yeah. Oh Christ on a bike. So uh, that's and so we know we still know we know a few more letters there. So the we know that this the the last letter of the third word is H. And we know the second one is going to be O. Oh. So, what is the rest then? B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I... This, I can see the title of this. Burkbot Bert learns the alphabet. <laughs> Sesame B, Street. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I... Let's make it easier for us. Let's kind of lock in what these... If you remember, remember what these letters are at the start of the corners, then it might be easier for you then. So you know like the you know like the, this one is C here. Yeah. You know that one's D. Then E F G H I J. You know this one here is K then. Okay. And then L M N O all the way down. So that's easier. You're kind of splitting up the alphabet that way then. N No. So A B M. M. M, yeah. M. So M O and o. then where is that other bird down there? U. Yep, yeah, you. S E so mouse. Mouse. All right. So we have shelter, noose, and mouse. What else have you got then? P. Is that? That's or. I know, I know. We Q then. Q. Q U. 
Q U. And then where's this large? Where's that large bird? That looks to be the the vulture. So it's Q. So Q U A. Is it? No. Yeah. Uh, Q U A. G E. No, that, this was not. It's not that. But let's see what the let's see what the other letter is then. The lion lying down. Where is that? I think it's just there on the right, actually. Oh yeah. Uh, L. L. Okay. Quell. So Quell. No. Hmm. Could be qu um. Oh, I, I see. Okay, I see what the I, I see what the trick with that is because we have two similar symbols. It could oh, be yeah. like it's like E or the other letter. So if I'm right, then that should be, that could be I. So yeah. it's either E or I. So if you if you fill that in again, then it could be quail. Quail. Okay. Okay. So that's so now like with the with the puzzle, then is like a choice of letters. Right. Which is which has a little bit more to it. Okay. So, so we have snake? shelter, noose, moose, or sorry, shelter, noose, mouse, and quail. What have you got next? Uh, S G no. U the U W. Okay, so W. W, O, isn't that O? Yeah. Uh, this thing. L. L. Mhm. Mm L and handy hand 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 D. Mhm. Mm w O. E. D. You said. Yeah. D E D. Wolded? I don't think that I don't think that's right. So no. let's see if there's a, a similar letter or a similar symbol for a letter. So they see that snake is repeated. Yeah. And that would be Folded. Folded. Okay, so we have a word then. We have folded. Okay. Right? And then the last one. Cup. Um looks like more like that cup, so C. Okay, so C, yeah. It's so, so it's either C or uh, K. Yeah. And then the line then is L. Yeah. So C L. O. Yeah. U. Would be T, wouldn't it? If we're going by the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. T H. T -H so cloth. Cloth. Right. Okay. So. So now this is where the <clears throat> now this is where the the question from the start says. What is the name of my like brother's cousin, whatever it was, my wife's brother's cousin? So now, using the letters that we, that's using the words that we've got here, now you're going to decipher what that what it's asking for. So it's a five-letter name in Greek mythology from what we have here. So quail. Well, no, it is in the mouse. letters you have from there. So the letters again are shelter, uh, noose, shelter, noose, mouse, uh, shelter, noose, mouse, what are we again? quail, folded, and this cloth. This sounds like a terrible dining experience. <laughs> Come dine with Ripper, I don't think it's going to work out that well. So. Oh God, uh, so I don't even understand. So, we're, so the Sphinx... It's the Sphinx's... Actually, do you know what it is, right? <laughs> this I actually um, caught this as well. Swi if you now we have words, right? Yeah. Now you swi like swap it around, okay? And now if you were to say we have a word that says shelter. Now mm -hmm. can you find a symbol that looks like shelter? What the fuck? Yeah. Why? And now, if you look it, now, in and in this sense, now this is where you find out what the the the, the puzzle is. You have a word now that describes a, one of the symbols, and that's part of the solution. How the f no? I don't like this. <laughs> so what the hell looks like shelter? This triangle that looks like a tent. Is a one this square that looks like the outside of a building. Well, if there is something that looks like a building, isn't there? One of the symbols. These things. No, the that one. That one there, which is H. Is a house. It's not house. Remember, it's a name. It's a name in Greek mythology. So click that in. That's one of the correct answers. So now, next thing then is you have a noose. So what does a look? What does a noose look like? That. So that's O, H O. So now next thing in there, I believe is mouse. Mouse. So it needs something that looks like a mouse. 
And do we have anything that looks like a mouse? That thing? That's a lion. Yeah. So that's not a mouse. So we don't have a mouse. It seems. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do we, what were they... Should we have a, we, do we have the right thing with mouse actually? Come to think of it, I don't think that's right. Because if that's if it's mouse, then then that shelter thing is H. Oh yeah. So it's mouse. Mouth. It's mouth, not mouse. Some so mouth. let's look again then for looking for a mouth. That. Yeah, that looks like a mouse. So that that would be R. H O R. A horse? No. No, it's close though. I know that's an Egyptian thing. No. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Okay. What well, next is the. The quail. Quails. A fucking bird. One of yeah, the birds. One of the birds. So let's let's look in now. So so now go, you switched back to the alphabet. Which one will make more sense? This one here, or this one here? Here. Okay. So what letter would that be? S T U. U. Yeah. U. Mm -hmm. And then the last word then would be um uh, this one. Cloth. Cloth. So fold, and as you can see, folded because when now we're getting, it's it's because there's six into five. It's folded cloth. So what looks like a folded cloth? This. No. Mm, no, but you're, you're you have the right idea. This. 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 Oh my god! I hate you're, this. you very. You are very close to the answer. H O R U. Can you think of a name now that that would make? I don't know any Greek Greek mythology. Who are you? Or you, <laughs> the mythical. Or you. Or you. Fuck you. <laughs> it's Horace, so it's an S. So if you have our. I thought it was right with Horace, even though I have Horace as an Egyptian thing. Yeah, it is an Egyptian thing. So. It would be. This one. Yeah. Uh, ah! Okay, we might have a symbol wrong then. Um, <sighs> let's no, let's no, we're nearly there. So H. This? Yeah, so then let's let's use the letter then. So we I J K L M N O. So we have that right. And then P Q R. So we we had them the wrong way around. So it's R. Then S T U, the quail. And then the S. So we just had we just had the, we had R and S the wrong way around. That should have no. worked. No. <sighs> Weird. H Oh, there you hey. go. Yeah, we won that off. Well, of course, that makes sense. Actually, it's a fold. If it's folded, it's yeah. folding on itself. It makes no sense. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> but I've been attacked by knowledge, so. It's like <laughs> That's a wonderful phrase. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going into this. I'm going on the internet to be attacked by knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now we have two parts of the of what we need. Okay. And the third part is the three parts of the weapon. Right. So. Do we go in and just try this out? We can try it if you want to. It's up to you. Um, if you want to start off. So which so seeing what that looks like, what what is the password? Pegasus. Pegasus. Yeah. Exactly. Ah! I figured it out. Woo! Give 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 me five. Yeah. Right. So type in Pegasus. This is uh, This is meant to be a chess like game, okay? Christ. Right, this is yeah. So I'm gonna help you out with this one because this is a bit bullshit. Um Oh, like nothing else in this fucking game. <laughs> yes, so 